spoken at the convention? No, I, as you can tell, I've been real busy <laughs> going nonstop, and I've, I've actually had a great week. I've really enjoyed it. We've been able to do some things that help people in Cleveland uh, through the Habitat build, which I've been there two days, and help our wounded warriors with our event on the Cuyahoga River. I've enjoyed being down on the convention floor and you know, talking to the delegates. I've given lots of speeches uh, all, all around the city, um, including a few yesterday and uh, a couple more today. So, no, it's been it's been a great convention for me. This and convention been pushing real hard to display unity without Kasich, without Cruz. Will the Democrats pounce on that? Well, as I said, I mean, I, I am talking to the actual grassroots Republicans who are here, including everybody in this room next to us. And as I said this morning, well, we're more unified right now than we were going into this convention. And we haven't even heard from Ivanka yet. Uh, or Donald. So I think we're, we're definitely more unified. And, and the response I got in the room, I think, indicates how this delegation feels about that. Senator, Thanks, this everyone. Is, we got to go. Thank you, Jess. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Cruz is going to be received back in the Senate. She's just got to go. She's just Thank you, John. <laughs> oh, I, I don't think you need to. Well, he has never won any popularity contest on Capitol Hill. I don't think we would call him. Dude, stop pushing. Um, sure. Yeah, that'd be great. But I, I, you know, he was in the he was in a very hotly contested primary, and, and uh, kind of understand where he's coming from. Thanks everyone. 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 Thanks.